Facts First presents Scientists in the Philippines have discovered a new species of human. Archaeologists have been exploring the Kayao Cave on the Philippines island of Luzon since 2007. Over the years, they have uncovered many strange fossils. The cave is located in the Sierra Madre mountain range, and it's just one of 300 caves in the area. At one time, there were nine chambers in the cave, but after an earthquake in the 1980s, two of those caverns were blocked, leaving only seven accessible. The cave's largest chamber is 160 feet wide and 118 feet high. Due to its enormous size, the locals have turned it into a chapel. The cave is lit by the natural light that comes in through the slits in the ceiling, and they even made an altar rock. Due to the environmental changes, the cave has some very fascinating features, including flow stones, cave curtains, and dripstones. Also, stalagmites and stalactites have formed because of the buildup of minerals that were produced from the drops of water. Of the many caves, Cayo draws the most visitors because it is easy to access thanks to a set of man-made steps. Back in the early 2000s, a Filipino researcher, Armand Salvador Mijares, started exploring the cave. He was a student at the University of the Philippines at the time, and he began studying the caves looking for evidence of ancient farmers. After a while, his research morphed into something completely different. He was on this quest because in 2004, archaeologists in Indonesia found evidence of a species that was said to be related to a man called Homo floresiensis. Armand wondered how it would be possible that the species ended up in the Philippines, so he decided to go to the caves and do his own search. In 2007, Armand and a team went out to the caves and began excavating. During the search, they found bones, but they were the bones from deer and other mammals. There weren't any bones that belonged to humans. This did not discourage him, though. Instead, it just made them want to search more. They assumed that people had to have lived there and fed on these animals. As they continued looking, they did find what they believed to be a human foot, but there was something about it that was a bit strange. Unfortunately, they could come to no definitive conclusions, so they continued digging. Over the next few years, the team found teeth, parts of a hand, and a portion of a thigh bone. The teeth were unusual. Modern humans only have a single root, but these teeth had three roots. The teeth were also very small. A paleoanthropologist from the Australian National University, Debbie Argue, found the teeth to be very significant. The teeth that were found were much smaller than the teeth recovered from the Homo floresiensis, and that made her wonder if there were once humans smaller than them living on the Earth at some point. She believes the teeth that she found belonged to a human that was shorter than four feet. Armand and his team published a paper in the scientific journal Nature regarding their find. In the article, they discussed the evidence that they found and called the new species Homo luzonisis. The paper stated that the examination of the fossils they discovered belonged to people who existed between 50 and 67,000 years ago. Armand was excited because his find finally put the scientific community in the Philippines in the spotlight. He believes his discovery changes everything that we know about evolution. Matthew Tocheri, a paleoanthropologist from Canada's Lakehead University, says that the more fossils that are discovered, the more we'll learn about the people who inhabited our planet before us. For quite some time, humans were thought to have first lived in Africa. It was believed that humans remained there for 1.5 million years and then began to emigrate. These humans were known as Homo erectus. Over the years, we've been able to study this human because so many fossils have been found. Since we don't really know what life was like back then, we can only go by theories derived by experts in the field. For decades, archaeologists have been digging in areas looking for answers to questions that we may never be able to answer with complete surety. We have the technology today to do more than ever before, but we still just might never know. We don't know what the future holds when it comes to new discoveries. Scientists in the Philippines they discovered a new species of human. Who knows what will be discovered in the future? There could come a day that we find something incredible that will finally tell the story about who lived on Earth before us and what they were like. Or it might completely turn everything we know upside down. Subscribe for more!